Why was the enormously destructive magnitude 7.8 followed by a magnitude 7.5, a very large aftershock, nine hours later, 100 kilometers to the north on a different fault. So my colleagues and I have tried to ask that question by calculating the stress transferred to surrounding areas by the magnitude 7.8 main shock. So here is that stress calculation. The blue areas are where the stress dropped due to the slip on the fault, and the red areas to the northeast and southwest are where the stress has risen and where there are many, many aftershocks. But then we calculated the stress transferred by that 7.8 earthquake to the Sergomesis fault, which you can see here. And now we see that this fault was also brought closer to failure by the magnitude 7.8, and in some sense promoted the occurrence of that magnitude 7.5 earthquake. So although we could not have foreseen the occurrence of the 7.5, we can at least explain it broadly in terms of stress transfer.